I enrolled for embedded systems. Introduction to data analytics and machine learning. So introduction to modern application development. Project planning and control. Introduction to programming in Sikyata. So I did the health research fundamentals. Introduction to airplane performance. This is my 11th exam. I have a certificate. I am an associate professor in chemistry at Pachayapas College, Chennai. Research scholar. I am a scientist in DRDO. Employed in a TVS group. I am a pediatrician. I am working in Chennai port. I am 17 years old now. Completed my 12th. Working at Yama Motors R&D. I'm working in the RDR Cancer Institute in Chennai. I feel much happy to attend this exam. The learning experience is excellent. Whatever the questions posted in the forum, it's immediately being answered. That is an amazing work what they are doing at really. With respect to NPTEL, the quality of lectures and delivery, the contents to the students, no doubt, unquestionable. And it's too good. The examination today I really enjoy. I've been traveling more than two hours uh, daily. I just hearing that entire video conversation throughout my journey, like not sitting in home. working in a different domain totally uh, like mainframes so the course which I took was introduction to modern application development so this uh, course was very helpful because I've learned new technologies the course content was very extraordinary to be precise even if you compare to other websites uh, they don't offer certification like uh, MIT or uh, any Carnegie Mellon open course but this is a very good initiative by the IITs and IACs which can improve the standard of education I was expecting to get gold medal by IIT, but I don't know it will be there or not. It's a nice opportunity for people outside of IITs to be able to take an exam that is conducted by IIT, so the standards are pretty good, obviously. I have learned more in these three months than taking some papers in the college. Even at the age of 50 plus, we are getting some enthusiasm to go through all these lectures and all those things. Another person from my college has taken it in another center and both of us feel that the teaching was absolutely brilliant throughout the course and it's not only theory, even practice is there. He went, they actually showed us through a flight lab and they actually had very, very practical examples. For youngster, definitely it is useful. But this type of courses, if you find in other places, it is very, very costly. But here it is, uh, for learning purpose, it is cheap. For obtaining a certificate, it is only a nominal fees. I appreciate uh, the initiative of MHRD and uh, the uh, strenuous efforts taken by uh, the IIT groups for uh, providing uh, uh, the latest and uh, technically sound education on online mode. This is the first time I felt that uh, some course for uh, working professionals and uh, it is well organized as such. Nowadays, uh, doctors are expected to do a lot of research also apart from seeing patients. So this course helped me to learn a lot. It was a nice experience. It's wonderful in sitting along with the students and solving the problems. Makes us to be more concentrated with the course, to have a better deliverability of the content, to the recent trends are in par with the reputed institutions. This course was really like, uh, you know, bringing a bridge across what we are doing now and what we are going to do in the future. This program will be the harbinger of a big intervention in India in the area of online education so that we can address the grand challenge of providing high quality and useful education to a very, very large number, probably the largest number of youngsters in the world.
general for embedded systems. Introduction to data analytics and machine learning. So introduction to modern application development. Project planning and control. Introduction to programming in Sikyata. Why did the health research fundamentals? Introduction to airplane performance. This is my 11th exam. I have certificate. I am an associate professor in chemistry at Pachayapas College, Chennai. Research scholar. I am a scientist in DRDO. Employed in a TVS group. I am a pediatrician. I am working in Chennai port. I am 17 years old now. Completed my 12th. Working at Yama Motors R&D. I am working in the RDR Cancer Institute in Chennai. I feel much happy to attend this exam. Funny experience is excellent. Whatever the questions posted in the forum, it's immediately being answered. That is an amazing work what they are doing at really. With respect to NPTEL, the quality of lectures and delivery, the contents to the students, no doubt, unquestionable. And it's too good. The examination today I really enjoy. I've been traveling more than two hours uh, daily. I just hearing that entire video conversation throughout my journey, like not sitting in home. working in a different domain totally uh, like mainframes so the course which I took was introduction to modern application development so this uh, course was very helpful because I've learned new technologies the course content was very extraordinary to be precise even if you compare to other websites uh, they don't offer certification like uh, MIT or uh, any Carnegie Mellon open course but this is a very good initiative by the IITs and IACs, which can improve the standard of education. I was expecting to get gold medal by IIT, but I don't know if it will be there or not. It's a nice opportunity for people outside of IITs to be able to take an exam that is conducted by IIT, so the standards are pretty good, obviously. I have learned more in these three months than taking some papers in the college. Even at the age of 50 plus, we are getting some enthusiasm to go through all these lectures and all those things. Another person from my college has taken it in another center and both of us feel that the teaching was absolutely brilliant throughout the course and it's not only theory, even practice is there. They, went, they actually showed us through the flight lab and they actually had very, very practical examples. For youngster, definitely it is useful. But this type of courses, if you find in other places, it is very, very costly. But here it is, uh, for learning purpose, it is cheap. For obtaining a certificate, it is only a nominal fees. I appreciate uh, the initiative of MHRD and uh, the uh, strenuous efforts taken by uh, the IIT groups for uh, providing uh, uh, the latest and uh, technically sound education on online mode. This is the first time I felt that uh, some course for uh, working professionals and uh, it is well organized as such. Nowadays uh, doctors are expected to do a lot of research also apart from seeing patients. So this course helped me to learn a lot. It was a nice experience. It's wonderful in sitting along with the students and solving the problems makes us to be more concentrated with the course to have a better deliverability of the content to the recent trends or in par with the reputed institutions. This course is really like, uh, you know, bringing a bridge across what we are doing now and what we are going to do in the future. This program will be the harbinger of a big intervention in India in the area of online education so that we can address the grand challenge of providing high quality and useful education to a very, very large number, probably the largest number of youngsters in the world.
I enrolled for embedded systems. Introduction to data analytics and machine learning. So introduction to modern application development. Project planning and control. So introduction to programming in Sikyata. So I did the health research fundamentals. Introduction to airplane performance. This is my 11th exam. I have a certificate. I am an associate professor in chemistry at Pachayapas College, Chennai. Research scholar. I am a scientist in DRDO. I am employed in a TVS group. I am a pediatrician. I am working in Chennai Port. I am 17 years old now. Completed my 12th. I am working at Yama Motors R&D. I am working in the RDR Cancer Institute in Chennai. I feel much happy to attend this exam. Learning experience is excellent. Whatever the questions posted in the forum, it's immediately being answered. That is an amazing work what they are doing at really. With respect to NPTEL, the quality of lectures and delivery, the contents to the students, no doubt, unquestionable. And it's too good. The examination today, I really enjoy. I've been traveling more than two hours uh, daily. I was just hearing that entire video conversation throughout my journey, like not sitting in the home. was working in a different domain totally uh, like mainframes so the course which I took was introduction to modern application development so this uh, course was very helpful because I've learned new technologies the course content was very extraordinary to be precise even if you compare to other websites uh, they don't offer certification like uh, MIT or uh, any Carnegie Mellon open course but this is a very good initiative by the IITs and IACs which can improve the standard of education I was expecting to get gold medal by IIT, but I don't know it will be there or not. It's a nice opportunity for people outside of IITs to be able to take an exam that is conducted by IIT, so the standards are pretty good, obviously. I have learned more in these three months than taking some papers in the college. Even at the age of 50 plus, we are getting some enthusiasm to go through all these lectures and all those things. Another person from my college has taken it in another center and both of us feel that the teaching was absolutely brilliant throughout the course and it's not only theory, even practice is there. He went, they actually showed us through a flight lab and they actually had very, very practical examples. For youngster, definitely it is useful. But this type of courses, if you find in other places, it is very, very costly. But here it is, uh, for learning purpose, it is cheap. For obtaining a certificate, it is only a nominal fees. I appreciate uh, the initiative of MHRD and uh, the uh, strenuous efforts taken by uh, the IIT groups for uh, providing uh, uh, the latest and uh, technically sound education on online mode. This is the first time I felt that uh, some course for uh, working professionals and uh, it is well organized as such. Nowadays, uh, doctors are expected to do a lot of research also apart from seeing patients. So this course helped me to learn a lot. It was a nice experience. It's wonderful in sitting along with the students and solving the problems. Makes us to be more concentrated with the course, to have a better deliverability of the content to the recent trends or in par with the reputed institutions. This course was really like, uh, no, bringing a bridge across what we are doing now and what we are going to do in the future. Yes, we are live now. Please start. You should start, sir. So we shall start.
Sir, please start, sir. We are live. Just a minute. ओम भद्र काल्य नमो नित्यम सरस्वते नमो नमः वेद वेदांतम विद्या स्थान एवं वच ओम आई ऑलवेज बो टू दी एक्सीलेंट अगेन एंड अगेन आई बो डाउन टू दी गॉडेस सरस्वती शी इज ऑल विजडम इंक्लूडिंग ऑल अपेंडेजेस टू विजडम द हाईएस्ट विजडम एंड द रिपोजिटरी ऑफ ऑल नॉलेज ओम सरस्वती महाभागे विद्य कमला लोचने विश्व रूपे विक्षाष्टी विद्या देहे नमोस्तुते ओम गोड सरस्वती ऑफ ग्रेट पार्ट्स ऑल नॉलेज विद लोटस आईज यू आर द फॉर्म ऑफ द यूनिवर्स सीयर ऑफ ऑल प्लीज गिव अस नॉलेज वी बो डाउन टू यू टुडे वी वेलकम यू बोथ द कॉलेजेस फॉर दिस एनपीटल अवेयरनेस वर्कशॉप वन कॉलेज in new delhi and 1 1000 kilometers apart from here in nagpur both for the same workshop and we are having particip uh, guest speaker from iits respected director madam of our institute dr rominder kaur respected director of the nagpur college resource person and the participants Uh, director of the gh raisoni institute of engineering and technology dr vivek kapoor resource person vaishali behel admin miss stefina ji from iit madras divya manthi faculty members students and learners the importance of this npetel awareness workshop is such that even the professor mp punia who is vice chairman of all india council for technical education has expressed his concern that even he is not able to convince his son to join the course or prepare for gate or join the skill development course through npetel he was also his son was also paying to the khan academy or coursera or so many other institutes and not taking the benefits of the free courses available from npetel so this awareness workshop will be good for all the students who are present here today we will be having this awareness workshop and not only the faculty members of this college but our director madam and even i have also attended many courses of npetel and done the course courses and given the tests as well today in the morning we are having our director madam dr rominder kaur she will be introducing all the audience with the college and uh, some introduction to the npetel as well director madam dr rominder ko a very good morning to all of you am i audible yes madam you are audible uh, yeah 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 very good morning to all of you dr vivek kapoor ji director gh raisoni institute of engineering and technology the resource person professor vishali behel from iit kanpur the admin professor stefan from iit madras dr divya dr mansi from nptil and our own faculty member very dynamic faculty member professor ashish bhardwaj ji all other faculty members of the institute and from other institutions who are present in this program today in the virtual program uh, students and all other learners associated with this event a very good morning to all of you heartiest greetings today uh, for this <coughs> workshop of nptil and uh, we all as we all know the new education policy 2020 focuses on equity access and quality you know and nptil we should congratulate the nptil for taking forward this principle of the nep about access to everybody to quality technical education you know this will indeed create an equity in the entire country because a person sitting in any corner of the country maybe south 
north, east, west, any remotest corners of the country also can avail this uh, benefit of listening to the best of professors from the IITs, from the NITs. And also, it, I'm glad that the AICT and the regulatory authorities have made it mandatory as well as they've organized that credits of this program, NPTEL courses done from NPTEL will also be counted by the university. They will be taken into accounts for granting the final degree. So that way, and many of the universities of our country have already started this. And um, uh, we would be looking forward to our university also in the North uh, to take up forward. And uh, I really am thankful to AICT for initiating such good quality initiatives for the development of technical education in the entire country. And uh, I've been given a few minutes time. And uh, so I would take this opportunity of also introducing our institution to uh, everyone associated with this program, as many of you must have not heard about it. It's Guru Tegh Bahadur Institute of Technology. And uh, the institution is uh, affiliated to Guru Gobind Singh Indraprastha University in Delhi. And uh, the institute is under the aegis of Delhi Sikh Gurdwara Management Committee. And Delhi Sikh Gurdwara Management Committee is a statutory body form, formed by an act of parliament and is doing social service, philanthropic services of our community, of the Delhi Gurdwara Prabandha Committee have been appreciated the world over in case of national as well as international calamities. The work done, the social work, the help rendered during this corona pandemic has been appreciated by everyone. And many of our people associated with our committee were all also awarded Padam Shri's uh, for doing this uh, great service to the nation. Uh, the institution is in the name of Shri Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji. And uh, I would like to give a brief introduction about Shri Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji. He was the ninth Guru of six. He was martyred because he upheld the principles of religious freedom. In those days, like many of you from the South and from other parts of the country may not be knowing about the great sacrifice made by Guruji. So I would like to give you a brief introduction for two minutes. In those days, the Emperor Aurangzeb wanted to convert everyone to Islam. He was forcibly converting them. There was a relentless program going on in those days that everyone should convert. The Kashmiri Pandits were very worried when their turn came. So they all were very worried and they didn't know where to go, how to protect themselves and their religion. So someone suggested them, why don't you go and meet Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji? He's a very pious and pure man. Maybe he can help you. So they all, uh, this Pandit Kirparam from Kashmir, along with a small delegation, they went and met Guruji and narrated to him all their woes, sufferings before him. Guruji, after listening to them, he went into deep thought. He was really concerned that what has happened to the conscience of these hardened rulers, emperors, why they are not moved by the suffering and killing of so many people. He was into deep thought and he was thinking how to rouse some conscious, how to soften their hardened uh, uh, hearts, you know, and how they can be changed. Then he thought that maybe a sacrifice by some pious, pious saint revered by everyone, maybe this type of sacrifice may be able to change, uh, make them change their minds and become soft towards the people. And secondly, if somebody makes a sacrifice, maybe the oppressed people, they may be shammed into some courage and action. So at that time, only his son, that time's nine-year-old, Gobind Rai, he came and asked him about the reason for his deep thinking, for his concern. So he told him about the sacrifice by a pious man, by a pure person to save the Hindu religion. <clears throat> Then immediately Guruji told, uh, he was that time a small nine years old, he told father who can be a better pure and person than you, you should make the sacrifice. So immediately Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji made up his mind and he told the Kashmiri Pandits, go and tell the emperor that if Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji embraces Islam, we all will follow suit and let God take care of the rest. So we all know how 
guruji was then called to delhi and then in front of him before him three of his devoted followers were massacred before him you know three those three people were bhai mati das ji bhai sati das ji bhai dayala ji you know bhai mati das ji was executed before the eyes of uh, guru teg bahadur ji he was cut by a seesaw but he did not budge from his principles he did not convert to islam you know he kept on praying to the last moment with serenity on his face peace on his face just praying to god and was executed the second devotee bhai dayala ji he was flung into boiling water he also did not budge the third devotee bhai sati das ji cotton was wrapped all around him and he was set on fire but still he kept on taking the name of god and thanking god for all that he has done for him actually the emperor at that time thought that after seeing all these uh, terrific acts guru ji will be terrified and he will embrace islam and then because he has himself agreed if he embraces islam the whole country will embrace islam so uh, we will be able to uh, get our work accomplished very soon but they did not know that guru ji was a person for upholding righteousness for upholding ideals for upholding the principles of religious freedom he did not budge he did not move nothing could terrify him and at the end he too was executed so this is a example of unparalleled sacrifice in the entire world in history of the entire world when someone sacrificed his life to save somebody else religion he himself was not a hindu but still he wanted to save the entire country and he wanted to uphold the principle of religious freedom so in our institution also it is in his name and our students we try to imbibe in them all the universal human values of brotherhood compassion kindness righteousness and uh, the institution is doing well in all the fields not only in academics but also we be believing in holistic education our students are doing exceeding well in sports games cultural activities academics hackathons and whatever all as aspects associated with technical education and our alumni or also can be seen and the entire world uh, progressing well keeping the flag of the institute high so once again i congratulate all the officials of the nptil and all the people associated with this program and i wish this workshop a great success thank you so much i am very glad to be a part of the uh, inaugural ceremony of this program thank you so much thank you madam for introducing our management nptel is making possible the completion of the desire of our prime minister of making atmanirbhar india today we are having vishali behel as a resource person he she has been master of technology in electronics and communication with specialization in wireless communications from punjab technical university punjab she has worked as assistant professor professor in department of electronics and communication engineering for five years in punjab she taught and mentored mtech and btech students during teaching career and was an active member of academic quality control team research and development cell also served as single point of contact coordinator for the university she has 12 research publications in the name of the field in wireless communication she has joined npital iit kanpur as project engineer in 2019 and have been handling and coordinating local chapter activities of npital since then over to you ma'am thank you so much ashish sir uh very good morning to all who have joined for today's workshop i i would like to heartily thank the management of both the institutions guru tegh bahadur institute of technology new delhi and uh, gh rice of the institute of technology nagpur thanks to directors of both the institution for sparing their valuable time and joining us for today's workshop and i really hope that this two hour session will be helpful catering what we want to uh, imbibe in students regarding what this indigenous project has to offer and since its inception how it, that this project has seen uh, the the different horizons that this project has touched and new initiatives that are up for our learners of india and also even abroad so thanks ma'am for your valuable work and thank you sir for this warm introduction so without taking much time i shall begin with today's session uh, a very warm welcome to all the 
uh, viewers who are who have connected with us through YouTube, both the students of both the institutions as well as the other institutions. So please, if you have any questions, please post that query in the chat box. My colleagues from IIT Patras are there to handle the queries. And also, uh, I'm Vashali signing in from IIT Kagpur. And with me, I have my colleagues from IIT Madras NPTEL. So I would like to share my screen and we shall begin with today's presentations. Okay. Uh, Stefana, is my screen visible to all? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yeah, thank you. So NPTEL, National Program on Technology Enhanced Learning. As you can see on my screen, it's an online repository. Repository means a library. Certifications, we introduced certifications back in 2014 and still till now it's going high. We have introduced domains, we have introduced faculty development programs and many more initiatives uh, which have come up in line uh, since the NPTEL was formed. And NPTEL is one of the longest running multi-institutional project of MHRD, now the Ministry of Education. It started back in 2003 with a mission and vision to provide high quality, affordable educational content to large masses. At that time, there was a, a scarcity of good educational content being departed in the uh, technical institutions. Seven parent IITs and ISC Bangalore, so eight parent institutions, formed a core team, uh, what MHRD gave the project to them. And with that, uh, project vision in mind, they started developing video and web courses. So it began with the web and video content on the website till offering the content for online certifications to now domain certifications and FTPs and many more initiatives that are lined up. So they started developing contents, they started offering online examinations. So these, this is how NPTEL is running. So it's, it's, it's started with engineering, but now it caters to larger audience of humanities, management, uh, social sciences, and multidisciplinary uh, domains are being touched. So as we go ahead in my presentation, you'll be seeing that how many disciplines and domains are being offered. But being coming from the educational institutions, which are technical, so seven parent IITs and ISC Bangalore, they started developing technical uh, content. So uh, the courses were developed in four weeks, eight weeks, and 12 weeks format. So still these are offered in four, eight, and 12 weeks. And they touch the uh, core basic sciences program and also different disciplines of engineering and other multidisciplinary things. So as I said, AICTE is one of the largest online repository of engineering course material and is one of the most successful multi-institutional project in the country. It's an indigenous effort and it's the longest running Projects used to last three years or five years span, but this is running since the last 18 years. So you can see the impact of what NPTEL has on the audience. Uh, these stats are yet to be updated, but you can see from the previous stats that 1.3 billion views. These views are not of any entertainment website. These are the views of an educational site with 3.7 million YouTube subscribers and availability of more than 52,000 plus hours of content, educational content with English subtitles are there and more than 2300 plus courses are there on our website. So you can see uh, on your screen the setup, how the contents are recorded and sometimes classes are being done in the studio so that uh, students can uh, see uh, the professor can teach them live and also assuming that you will be taking benefit of this by recording those lectures over there. So that is the setup, a roughly setup how input lectures are recorded. These are given by the professors of IITs, uh, sometimes in collaboration with other uh, technical institutions in the broad too, and our uh, NPTEL industry associates too. You can understand the credibility of the content being offered to you. Nothing is diluted because these, these courses are even taken by the IIT students. So you can understand the level at which the, these courses are recorded and what the content the faculty delivers to the complete classes. So whatever is being taught inside IRTs are given on the web, NPTEL website and any student, not just a student, but a homemaker, anybody who wants to learn, because learning is absolutely free of cost. It's available. So anytime, anywhere you can learn. Thank, this is the beauty of MOOCs, massive open online courses. This brings me to my next slide, uh, SWAM and NPTEL. 
You all have heard the term SWAM. SWAM is study web of active learning of, for young aspiring minds. SWAM is a national MOOCs portal of India. It has nine coordinators. So it's a bigger umbrella under them. And under this nine verticals fall. AICTE, CEC, IGNU, IIMB, NCRT, NIOS, NIRCCR, NPTEL, and UGC. NPTEL is one of them. So NPTEL is a national coordinator for engineering for UG and PG. NPTEL does the technical maintenance of the SWEF. So now, uh, when since the pandemic hit us in 2020, broadly, so everything being shut down, still education should not stop. So it, students started uh, uh, getting education through online platform. Earlier also it used to be there, but, but it came into limelight more because of pandemic. We started exploring some alternative methods to teach and to learn from. So MOOCs has played a massive role in that. So that has uh, made it more acceptable. Earlier, few students used to learn through the MOOCs portal, uh, get their extra certifications. But now, uh, because education is being given through the online platform, many, many people have become comfortable while for learning through this online platform. So if, if you are someone who wants to take a benefit of learning along with your subjects, or you wants to, who, he or she who wants to change their, uh, I mean, uh, you are you are in a computer science field and you want to learn something of uh, electrical or you are a mechanical student and you want to learn something of computer science. MOOCs provide you that opportunity to learn interdisciplinary. So that, that's how MOOCs work. So uh, if you fulfill the prerequisites requ required for learning any course, you, the, there is there's nothing to stop you from learning. So this is how MOOCs platform work. And today we'll be discussing about credit transfer, how internships are being given to our toppers, soft skill trainings being provided by the NPTEL, uh, domains that are being offered by NPTEL and how many domain scholars we have obtained till now, uh, lab workshops being organized and also faculty development points for going through the NPTEL courses. Uh, but before that, I would like to make this session a little bit interactive. Uh, my colleague will be sharing a survey question, a Mentimeter question, basically, so that you can vote. And it's a sort of uh, just making uh, you feel alive and interactive because earlier we used to have these workshops in the offline mode, but uh, this pandemic is not permitting us to get back to that key. So we are conducting the, the, these, these in online format. So Stefana, are we ready with our first Mentimeter question? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, so please take out your uh, phones and uh, you can vote for the question that is being displayed on your screen. So go to menti.com. Yeah, go to menti.com, use the code 63712063 or you can directly scan the QR code. It will take you to the questions that will be asked uh, during this, these, this workshop. So we'll be having few survey questions just to make it a little bit interactive. So it will take you to the first question for today's uh, workshop. How many courses, so are you a student or a faculty? That's our first question. The Mentimeter code is there right up on your screen. If you have missed the previous slide, go to menti.com, use the code 63712063. We just want to know our audience. So are you a student or a faculty or others? You can start voting. Yeah, we can see answers coming in. Also, I can see from the chat box, uh, many of the students have started answering in the chat box too. Okay, go to menti.com, use the code. The code is there on the top of your screen. Okay, students are replying in the chat box too. Uh, we can have a timer, Devna.
okay, hundreds of students have written in the chat box that yes, they are students, okay. We have some faculty members too, okay. But majority are students who are listening to, the, to, to this today's online awareness uh, session. All right, so around uh, 80 people have voted over here in which majority are students. And in the chat box uh, too, I can see around 150 writing that yes, we are students. Okay, uh, can we move to our next question? All right, how many courses do we have on NPTEL website? I have just said in my previous slide. So if you have been with us since the start, so you might be knowing this answer. Yeah, we can see answers coming in. Is it 300, 500, 1,000, 2,000, or 5,000? Okay, majority people are writing 2,000. Okay, can we have a timer, Stefano? Okay. I can see from the chat box, around 90% of people who have answered have answered, answered 2000. Oh, all right. So correct answer is around 2000 because we have to make 300 plus courses and majority of uh, our viewers have answered it as, it as 2000. So thanks, Stefana, for these questions. I'll get back to you with some another set of questions. Yeah, thank you. I shall be moving back to my presentation now. All right. So getting ahead, the very first topic is about credit transfer. Uh, yeah. So how credit transfer works and why credit transfer is important. As per the guidelines from AICPE as well as UGC, uh, some credits are to be inculcated into your DMCs through books platform, as uh, Director Ma'am has already told. So these, these are to be done uh, uh, through the MOOCs platform. So now UGC and AICPE has both laid norms for that. Now, as per UGC norms, 14 hours of learning is equivalent to one credit. Like I told, we have courses in the format of four weeks, eight weeks, and 12 weeks. So we allocate credits based upon these uh, numbers. If I take an example of four weeks course, video contents of 10 hours are present. We have assignments for each week. So one assignment per week, that means engagement of four hours. So total recommended credits as per UGC for 14 hours is equivalent to one. Similarly, for eight weeks course, we recommend two credits. And for 12 weeks course, we recommend three credits. So now, if you understand the learner's engagement into this, for typically watching the video lectures, three to four hours of learner's engagement per week is done. It, it, it depends upon uh, the speed at which you are watching also. If you have any doubt, please pause the video, get back. So that you can learn. Our, our, our assignments are time bound. So uh, typically 10 days time uh, is given for completing assignment. We do have deadlines. So learner spends usually two hours a week in solving those assignments. Also under the every video lecture or uh, towards in, in, the, in the summary also, there are text transcripts or some notes or some references present in a particular course. Also, there are live interactions uh, that happens during either end of the course or middle, depending upon the availability of course instructor or when he or she wants to conduct that live interaction. So the engagement is around one hour a week. 
Then we have a very important component with us that's called discussion forum in our portal, which students uh, don't utilize it as much as we expect them to utilize. But if you spend the time over there, you see what other students, fellow mates have asked you, ask the instructors uh, the questions regarding any doubts that they are having in whatever content has been released. So a student typically spends one hour a week. So if college or university wants to count the discussion forum and extra reading materials time, they can give extra one credit uh, what Infidel has recommended because these are the recommendations. That brings me to my next credit transfer process. So university, uh, as per their norms, they can pass some regulations related to credit transfer. These can be keeping some core courses, elective courses or pass or fail courses in mind. You can select from the list uh, of courses available on the NPTEL website too if you are forming it for NPTEL. These can be a list of courses which are general uh, for every degree or every year. So do have some general transfer policy in mind. Autonomous and deemed universities can make their own policy to implement credit transfer. You all have some academic councils in which you can discuss and uh, pass as per your norms. But always keep in mind, you do need to have an alternate mechanism for students who do not pass NPTEL courses. Because as of now, we do not conduct any supplementary or compartment examinations for uh, the students who have failed in the individual courses. So if uh, you have failed in Jan, April semester course, there it's not sure that you will be having a similar course in the second half of the year too. So one that, once that course comes back, only then you'll be able to give that examination. So do have that alternate mechanism in place to deal with those type of cases. Keep it flexible. Don't make it mandatory for all students. Uh, first year students are completely new to the college environment. They have come from uh, their schools and they might be already studying many subjects. So don't make it mandatory for them. It, just leave it as a voluntary choice if they want to learn through book platform or not. Uh, do keep it for second and third year courses and the uh, second and third year students as fourth year students, if I'm taking example of BTEC, they are graduating uh, year students. So don't tie their degree with the NPTEL results. So if, if uh, they pass uh, or even if they fail in some uh, examinations, so their degree might be at fault. So keep it, especially for the middle year students, second and third year students. And NPTEL domains, there are uh, around 51 domains being offered in 12 disciplines. You can look up for their those domains as introducing minors or specialization in an area. If I uh, talk about the AICT curriculum model, what uh, AICT has prescribed for the engineering courses, uh, they want to inculcate some minors as different engineering into already going engineering. Like I told you an example of uh, a mechanical being a major and computer science being a minor or vice versa. So these can be introduced. So if a computer science student wants to understand some basics of mechanics so that they can get into robotics, so that can also be possible. So these are the general transfer, credit transfer policy uh, or process uh, recommendations from our side uh, that you can follow. And not just we preach other institutions about these credit transfer, we also adopt it in IITs too. So IIT Madras, IIT Kanpur, IIT Roorkee, IIT Palakkad, IIT Tirupati, and IIT Bombay have approved credit transfer for their students. As you know, uh, seven parent IITs, IIT Bombay, Delhi, Kanpur, Khadakpur, Madras, Guwahati, Rurki, and IIC Bangalore are already parent, uh, the core team of NPTEL. And, uh, but still we, we approve credit transfer courses for our students too. So IIT Khadakpur is also having it in a different mechanism. They uh, ask the working professionals who are doing PhD courses uh, uh, in the IIT Khadakpur to do the NPTEL courses for credit transfer. So these, these courses are not just uh, being given to the other IIT, non-IIT students, but, but also IIT students do, uh, do these courses. Since these courses are offered by IIT, pro, IIT professors themselves, so why do they need to study it through this NPTEL portal? For example, if a student studying a degree in IIT Kanpur wants to learn a course that is being offered by IIT Madras professor, he or she is been able to do it through NPTEL. So you can understand this. If, 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 some, if some course has been uh, offered by any of the institution's uh, course instructor who are giving their courses through NPTEL platform, these can be cross-studded in the IITs too. So this gives them an edge. This gives them an advantage to learn from different professors as well. So that makes its quality credible and aggregated that yes, 
the content being delivered to the masses is never diluted. It's the same content what IIT students learn from. So coming to my next point is uh, the opportunities of doing internships for the toppers with the IIT faculty members. So the faculty members who are giving NPTEL courses, uh, they, they provide internship opportunities to the toppers of their courses. We started this internship opportunity since 2018 and in 2021, uh, it's still going on in the online mode. Otherwise, students used to come to the institute. They used to work with the faculty member on the project, whatever he or she wants to give to them, sitting along with the research team of uh, that professor. So these, this is a type of a paid internship. So it gives you an exposure of how IIT culture works. So that's the opportunity that our uh, NPTEL toppers get of uh, doing internships with the IIT faculty members. Next opportunity is of doing soft skill training. So this initiative was started recently uh, in the previous year. Soft skill trainings play a huge role when you are near your placement scenario. If your college is already giving you such type of uh, soft skill training, please don't take it for granted. Please do it seriously. How this will be important, you will understand once you start getting uh, into, into that mindset that yes, placement season is coming up, so need to get a job. You might be technically sound, but how will you will be able to communicate what you have in your mind? You can share your ideas only through your good communication skills. So to inculcate those good interpersonal communication skills and um, your approach towards how you want to display your idea, these soft skills play a huge role in that. So we, 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 were, ha we were having NPTEL stars, we were having NPTEL toppers, uh, who were from uh, various nook and crannies of India, who were, were not having good uh, placement opportunities, um, even companies coming to their campuses. So they used to write to us that, that they, they lag uh, during the interview. They are very technically sound. So what we started is started giving, starting polishing their uh, skills in this direction. So the first step is to take their employability assessment test. Next, we started doing their group discussions call with a group of 10 students so that make it an interactive session how it goes in the uh, while you're while you are sitting for any places next we have our NPTEL industry associates we have around uh, more than 60 62 industries who are our NPTEL industry associates who ask their employees to reskill and upskill themselves by doing NPTEL courses so we have tie-ups with them so they train our students in these mock interviews they tell them where they need to improve or they need to learn, learn something new. And after this, a spoken English test is taken. So this is roughly a one module of soft skill training. And you can see on your screen, we have inserted a screenshot of the training that's going on. So it's, it's for NPTEL certified candidates, reference given to the NPTEL star stoppers and local chapter students from tier two and tier three cities. So the importance of this is, you, you already know if you are a student. So please don't take it for granted if your college is providing it. But otherwise, NPTEL uh, does take care of our um, uh, NPTEL star learners and toppers. So we just don't leave them with a mere certificate. So you can see in my coming slide how many students have uh, been placed through, through this type of training. So next module is a seven or four day screening module that we have for our active local chapters students uh, for the LCs coming from tier two and tier three cities. So it's a two hour uh, training for 15 days. So uh, uh, roughly for 15 days for two weeks, there's a pre-training online mock interview and post-training online mock interview. These type of trainings are being given by industry associates, like I told you. Then employability assessment test is taken. Online sessions on communication skills, writing skills, resume building, interpersonal skills, and the importance of uh, social networking in context of job search. LinkedIn is a very big example to make your skill set available to the future uh, employers. So they train you in this uh, during this training module. And there is always a takeaway assignment that is to be submitted every day. A minimum attendance of 80% has to be maintained. This is criteria is there of attendance so that uh, you have a check on you that you are coming every day and at least attending it and eligibility participants uh, participation certificate is given after you go through these training your uh, 
resume is there in our pool so that whenever some company asks us if you have any toppers uh, with you we can give your uh, a cv to them so this is uh, how the training was going on you can see it's still in the online mode and uh, it's going uh, very high so we in 2021 we have completed uh, many batches of such type of training so in petal toppers performance in placement uh, you can see on your screen around 117 candidates roughly being placed still the number is increasing but not as much as what you see in your college mass recruitment because this is not a mass recruitment these are the students coming from nook and crannies of india uh, getting placed and because because their hard work is being rewarded in, uh, this we provide them the opportunity to meet our uh, the companies with whom we have tie-ups. So TCS, Capgemini is entered. You can see uh, at the bottom, we have listed few companies who are training our students in inculcating soft skills in them. So Capgemini has placed around 57 candidates. Infosys has placed 57 students as system engineer specialist. Also, Tejas and Bali have recruited our uh, LC, our NPTEL toppers. Uh, so this is how uh, NPTEL placements uh, has been there. Next, coming to the special recognition being given to the toppers, you can see the pattern. So uh, internship opportunities, placement opportunities, and now special recognition given to the NPTEL toppers. So there's a, there, there are, uh, we, we have given some different type of recognitions given to the NPTEL learners who have done exceedingly well. Uh, in their examination. So they are given this recognition of NPTEL domain scholars, those who obtain a domain, NPTEL superstars, if they have appeared in multiple exams and have been toppers in many of them, NPTEL evangelists, NPTEL motivated learners, NPTEL enthusiasts, NPTEL discipline stars, NPTEL believers. So if, if you want to get a motivation, you go to the NPTEL.ac.in website on the header first tab, it's NPTEL stars. So you click on the NPTEL stars, you can see these categories being there in a clickable format. You click on any of them, you can see these are not just students. These are faculty members, these are scientists, they are people from various industries, they are various from various MNCs, they are even homemakers who have some enthusiasm to learn something new. So that's the type of motivation if uh, your students are waiting from our host institution to get uh, on board with the NPTEL. So, you can see from the tab, we have around 150 in July, December 2021, semester two as NPTEL domain scholars. So we start, we introduced these domain scholars in back in 2019 with an industry, with an, just sharing you a, a story, a very tiny story that we have with us. Uh, there's a student called Mr. Pamir Roy. His name is there on the NPTEL stars, uh, NPTEL domain scholars page, you can see. He's a student from Arunachal Pradesh, one of the college, which is in a very remote area. And he is a mechanical engineering student. He wanted to do something in automation. So automation and robotics for that, he required uh, to learn AI, artificial intelligence. So what he started doing is he started doing courses uh, that will lead to streamlining his interest and uh, getting him obtain a specialization in that area. College, college's curriculum doesn't pr permit him to learn AI while during the uh, that degree. So he started learning through the NPTEL portal. So today he's placed in a very good company because he has obtained AI specialization, AI domain scholar specialization. So that's how NPTEL domain scholar, uh, this domains came into existence because students used to write to us. We have a vision that we want to get such type of specialization. We have done one course in one semester. What next course is to be done? So we have streamlined those uh, subjects starting from base till the expertise level so that you can obtain a specialization in the area of your interest. Similarly, NPTEL superstars, evangelists, and other uh, distinct, uh, distinguished uh, recognitions that we give to our NPTEL learners are there on the website. So this brings me to another important part of today that's NPTEL domain certification. Like I told you how this was introduced and uh, I need not to say you all know what's the importance of this. Let me tell you one scenario. There, there used to be a time with your same education, you can complete your job till your retirement. But now with 
every technology getting up, upgraded and updated you need to reskill and upskill yourself every 5 years to stay relevant and stay maintain your existence in the field where you're doing your job so that's that's where domains play a huge role if you are already a faculty member having some specialization and you want to enter some new specialization or or you want to learn something new or you are a student who wants to learn something uh, related to a particular area of expertise you can explore this domain certification so npital uh, uh, domain certification page is there on the npital website you can i'll i'll show you when i'll give you a walk through of this so why this is important because this prepares you for technical competitions by technical competitions i mean if if you are if you, if you aim to sit for uh, the industries your future employers wants to see some particular skill set in you you can get it through while doing these domain scholars uh, this these certifications so better career perspective is there you can learn cross disciplinary you are a student of a one uh, discipline you can you want to learn something in new discipline you can definitely go through uh, while doing these domain certification next it, it makes you a specialized in a particular area so this is a certification of, of a specific area and a discipline how this is done uh, likewise as you have in your degree some set of core courses there are set of elective courses that are to be selected and minimum score has to be maintained for each course and uh, the courses are to be completed uh, within the span of 3 years that's what we recommend for doing these domain scholars uh, certification like i said uh, you go to the website npital.ac.in click on noc this is an noc tab that, that will take you to a page you click on domain you will enter domain certification page we are, we are offering uh, 51 domains um, in uh, 12 disciplines for example if i take give you an example of aerospace engineering we have uh, a domain called flight mechanics so you can do flight mechanics domain specialization in aerospace uh, discipline uh, similarly for biotech for chemical for civil engineering faculty discipline too if you are if you have just entered a field there is a faculty domain called fundamental or if you are experienced you can go through this advanced domain for humanities and social sciences also for management there are number of domains being offered for mathematics too for computer science uh, these can be done by uh, any student it, it never restricts you if you are either a computer science student or a mechanical student so you can do the domains interdisciplinary too like i told so there are five domains being offered similarly for electrical for mechanical and metallurgy so these are the domains being offered so i'll 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 just take you to the website too let me just share my screen i'll just give you a tiny walk through uh go to nptl.ac.in <clears throat> click on the nptl online courses this page opens up in front of you over here you can see a domain tab you click on the domain tab these uh, if i scroll down you can see our domain scholars so there are students there are faculty members there are others who are either working in some industries there are uh, people who are uh, not working even anywhere so you can see the domains scholars on the first page itself if you click on click uh, to know more about it i'll take you to the first example of aerospace engineering itself you can see you need you need to complete a uh, four core courses and two elective courses out of the list so how it works is you need to choose uh, the course that is uh, available in the list so you need to choose four of them so if 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 you see in the third tab there are two courses of a same name being offered of a similar uh, this is being offered by two different uh, professors you have the links to previous runs too so you can see uh, with which uh, faculty member you are comfortable or if you understand which which is up for the enrollment in this semester that link is also present for jan april link too. so you can choose it from here too and then the next to complete two elective courses again uh, a list of six courses are available so you can definitely choose what you want to learn from so there is a minimum criteria of 50 weeks of learning that you also need to, need to keep in mind uh, then if i scroll it down you can see all the complete list is there of different different uh, disciplines in which different domains are being offered if i uh, for example just go to faculty domain advanced 
you can see you need to complete five core courses. So all the five core courses being offered are listed here. Then you need to complete two elective courses out of the list of uh, around 14 courses being there. So whatever course is of your interest, you can pick it from here. And you can e also see the previous run, their archive links are there. So these were, this, this is about the domains being offered. And in order to complete it, there's a, even a book which tells you a detail that how you can go some alternative mechanism, everything is there. Uh, so if you are a student and uh, you are in, the first path that you can take is you can start taking it uh, four core courses every semester, one one each in four uh, semesters, and then taking one one elective. Or if you are good enough, you can shorten your path. You can even do two core courses in every semester. So two semesters will be there for doing core, and three will be there for doing electives, depending upon how you can manage. So these are also given. So okay, this is how the NPTEL domains are available for the students. So getting back to my slide. Yeah. So once you complete uh, the domain certification, there's a sample certificate, uh, how it comes. It looks like this. It has a domain uh, certificate stamp with NPTEL and SWIM being written. Your name, your photograph that you registered at the time of registration. One thing is to be kept in mind while doing these courses, because these are, this is a set of courses that you'll be doing number of core courses and some number of elective courses. Do it through single email ID. Uh, why this is important because email ID is your identifier. If you will do one course from one and the other using the other email ID, it will create a confusion and you won't be able to inculcate them together in this domain certificate. So always have one email ID for doing all the NPTEL courses as many as you want to learn from. So I'll tell you the importance of this in my coming uh, slides. So your name, the photograph that you uh, uploaded at the time of your registration, the domain, what you have obtained, this from which discipline that domain comes. So that's their chairman uh, CCE signature, also NPTEL coordinator signature, along with your role number. And it will have the marks sheet of all the courses that you have done along with the marks. And there's a QR code that will take your either a faculty member or your SPOC who wants to check your result or your future employee who wants to check the credibility. So these QR codes will take you uh, we'll take them to the uh, results section. So this this is uh, a gist of uh, domain scholars being there. This is a list of previous year. So this is to be updated. Currently, we are having 110 for the, session, the semester that just concluded. We, con we conduct exams twice a year because we have Jan April semester and we have uh, July and November semester. So after every course run, examination happens and the list comes out. Uh, so we have two ex set of exams being conducted uh, two times a year. So uh, you can see many, around 43 faculty members have done this domain uh, certification with 11 being schooled. So this, this is a start of previous year. But uh, still, since it was introduced, you can see number of faculty members engaging it in more because, uh, for example, if, if uh, people want to learn data science, they can definitely learn it through the NPTEL domains. So this brings me to my next point. But before that, I would like to have a Mentimeter question. Uh, Stefana, are we ready with our next Mentimeter question set? Stefana? Yeah. So we'll be sharing another set of Mentimeter questions with you. Uh, you can use the same QR code or, or, or you can use the same code. It's 63712063. Go to menti.com, enter the code 63712063. Next question. Okay. The question is up on your screen. Why should you do an NPTEL course? What are the benefits? The code is given right up on your screen. Why should you do an NPTEL course? What are the benefits? So it's a cloud answer question. So you need to type your answer. Please keep this thing in mind. This is live on YouTube and also it's going to stay. So whatever you're typing, type it, uh, keeping this thing in mind.
If you can see answers coming in. Okay. Meanwhile, I can see some questions uh, in the chat box too. Regarding credits, I have explained how credit transfer works. So you need to get in touch with your college authorities or your institution authority. What are the policy uh, that's there for your institution? Uh, we can see different answers to get placements, improve skills, to get experience. Yeah, to learn something new. All right. Okay, there are certain questions. Okay. Can an electronic student do aerospace course? Yes, definitely. That's that's how interdisciplinary courses work. You can uh, definitely learn cross uh, discipline. Okay, uh, we have got many answers to get good placements, learn from IIT faculty members, improve knowledge, job placements. All right, okay. Thank you for participating in this question. So, uh, can we have next set of questions? Uh, Stephanie, can we have the next question? Uh, uh, right now, there's a small issue. Uh, we'll continue okay. the presentation and we'll have the question next. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, thanks, Stephanie. So we'll get back to the other set of questions in a short while. Uh, you can stop sharing your screen. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll just get back to my presentation. Now, uh, I get back uh, to the sixth initiative. That's uh, in-person lab certification courses. So our NPTEL doppers do get this opportunity too, to uh, get, uh, get themselves here in IIT and uh, get a lab certification course. Uh, how this works is there's a one week um, in person. Uh, somebody's mic is on. Please mute yourself. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So uh, one week in-person workshops are being given in different uh, institutions, uh, ISAs or triple academics and others too, uh, being in uh, different fields of sciences. So there's a practical session and there's a theoretical session too. And finally, if you complete those set of experiments being uh, prescribed by or recommended by the uh, faculty member, you will get uh, a certificate after passing a lab exam. So this is an in-person lab certification course. You can see on your screen, 2019, we have conducted a lot in Chennai, Pune, Kolkata. And also in 2020, uh, two already happened. But rest is going on in the online mode too. And uh, uh, the toppers get this opportunity to uh, get a, a, a residential stay over here for doing these experiments a week. So set of 10 experiments or 15 experiments as, as designed by the course instructors are there. And students get to learn uh, along with the research group how experiments are being performed. And after the completion of those sets of experiment, a lab examination happens. And after this, uh, in-person lab certification certificate is given. So the next uh, is uh, initiative taken by the NPTEL to sign an MOU with AICTE. Uh, in 20, 2018, we signed an MOU with AICTE to uh, consider a UG elective and advanced courses as FTP courses. So FTP, Faculty Development Program, uh, all the faculty members who are watching this knows about it. Uh, some set of FTPs are to be done after completion of every semester. So Faculty members used to take academic leave, used to go to the different institute and start doing that. With the signing of this MOU, what has been done is the courses which are 
coming under this category uh, while doing that course and after giving the examination you are eligible to get a certificate of ftp faculty development program certificate so the list is there on the website so if if uh, for example if in the, in a semester 600 courses are being offered so more than 400 are the courses which are approved as ftp courses by ase so the process of this is as a, that's there for every learner you need to enroll for a course you need to register and write the examination and you, you need to pass the examination. So passing criteria is same for every learner, be it faculty, be it scientist, or be it student, or be it anybody. So if you are interested in applying this certificate, so there's a separate link that comes off rupees 100. So you can fill up that link and you will be able to get AICTE in Vital FTP certificate. That's an add-on advantage because one, you are learning a new course of, or whatever course of which is of your interest. You will be getting a passing certificate of that course, and you will be also getting the opportunity if that course is a ASCT approved FTP course, you'll be getting a second certificate of FTP. This is how this uh, ASCT e NPTEL FTP looks certificate looks like. Um, it has a logo of both NPTEL as well as ASCT e, your photograph, uh, name, course name, the consolidated marks that you have obtained. It has signature of uh, NPTEL coordinator as well as EICTE technical council's advisor. It has your role number. So this this uh, th this uh, makes you learn during the semester rather than just focusing on a one week FTP and you forget you might forget in the coming semesters what you have learned and all. But these videos are going to stay. Your assignments that you have filled are going to stay, and you'll be passing that examination. So criteria of what AICTE has given us. They consider four weeks course equivalent to half week of one week FTP. They take eight weeks course of NPTEL as full FTP of one week. And they take 12 weeks course equivalent to one and a half FTP. So that's how calculation works. And uh, you, you know, without taking any leave during the semester, you can uh, do these number of FTPs. Uh, the next initiative is uh, launching a gate portal. We relaunched our NPTEL gate portal. So go to nptl.ac.in, there's a tab, gate preparation. You click over there, or you can use the URL gate.nptl.ac.in. Mapping, question-wise mapping, and also topic-wise mapping to the solutions of uh, gate questions are being done on the NPTEL platform. So as you know, the importance of gate is not just in getting uh, entrance into the PG courses of IITs and ISC, but it is also important to get uh, opportunity to do PSU job. So this, this project being launched, the mapping has been done. So you can, if you are a student or if a learner or, or an aspirant of GATE, you can definitely take advantage from this initiative of NPTEL. So very soon we'll be putting up more videos related to GATE preparation and some more practice tests. But meanwhile, in the first phase, we have done complete mapping of GATE questions uh, to the NPTEL videos. Then the other initiative is to conduct exams outside India. We do have our learners, not just in India, but in abroad too. We used to fly back to India in the examination centers uh, where we, we, we are conducting proctored examination. So NPTEL conducts proctored examination. You need to go to the center to give exam. So around 200 plus candidates uh, did this uh, exams outside India uh, in 2020. So we have established our uh, exam centers in uh, UAE as well as in uh, Sri Lanka. So Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Sharjah, and UAE, we are having these exam uh, cities. And in Colombo, Jaffna, we, are, we have fixed as exam cities for Sri Lanka. So around 229 candidates have taken the examinations of NPTEL in a broad too. So that's the another uh, initiative that uh, this, this project is uh, getting international too. So that, that's, that's how this is expanding its horizon. So we are hoping for more exam cities in the coming uh, semester. So next is a translation initiative. So not just in uh, English, we have our transcripts available in eight vernacular languages, eight regional languages. So uh, Bengali, Gujarati, Hindi, Kannada, Malayalam, Marathi, Tamil, and Telugu. In these eight regional languages, translations are being done of the transcripts present. So if you are if you are comfortable in learning in these uh, uh, regional languages, so nothing should stop you from learning. So rather than downloading the English transcript, you can definitely download the transcript if it's available for the course that you are learning and learn through uh, this initiative. 
So that's a detail uh, of the translation that has already been done and uh, some are in process. So hopeful uh, that uh, we'll be able to complete majority of the courses being translated into these eight vernacular languages. So that's an example of uh, that I have inserted for Hindi. So sample books have been created from English transcripts. So transcripts are what that uh, professor is teaching in that uh, video lecture. So uh, if I, I take an example of uh, Joy of Computing is in Python, a book is present in the format uh, of a book. So every, rather than downloading lecture-wise PDFs, you'll be able to download a complete book in a single click. So this is an example of uh, Joy of Computing using Python, then Power Electronics, Cost Accounting, Working Capital Management. So these four books are listed up on your screen, but there are numerous books that are being uh, translated. So you can download and go to the translation page and see if your course is already being translated. Next initiative is of special lecture series. Uh, we, uh, uh, in April, 2020, we started this initiative of uh, uh, giving a special lecture uh, given by the eminent personalities of big shot companies like uh, Google's VP, IBM's VP, uh, uh, we have Tech Mahindra's VP, we have IS coming to our, uh, uh, interacting with us for live, with a live audience. So the range of the, the topics being discussed are five. So not just restricted to technical era, but, but general experiences. If somebody wants to get into IS, uh, joy of teaching and many, many other, other topics were covered. So that's how the special lecture series were introduced during pandemic so that you can get to learn from different experts from their experiences, what they need to uh, tell us what's currently going on uh, in the market and uh, how how is the job scenario changing and everything uh, uh, being discussed by eminent personality. So this is available free of cost on the YouTube channel. So please go ahead and see this, this uh, lecture series videos are there on uh, the NPTEL uh, HRD's uh, video channel. Uh, this brings me next to a very uh, question that our viewers used to ask us. So uh, what do you think uh, the age distribution that we have uh, for the people who are coming to exam centers and give, uh, getting the examinations of NPTEL done? NPTEL conducts exams in the proctored mode. NPTEL, I'll, I'll just, in a very uh, coming slide, I'll be telling you how NPTEL courses uh, work. So the age group of people who are coming to the exam centers to take up the examination is huge, ranging from 10 to 15 years of age to 86 to 90 years of age bracket. So we, we had 87 years old lady, two, two people coming to the exam centers of Chennai and giving the examination. She doesn't need to take any job. She doesn't need to learn something new. I mean, uh, to to uh, get into teaching or get into anything, but she is enthusiastic to learn something new. So that makes us uh, overwhelmed and that keeps us motivated that uh, yes, people wants to learn. So we used to get some feedback videos like we are waiting every semester. Once the semester concludes, there's a gap of some time before next semester is released. Like we are waiting in that time that we don't have anything new to learn because uh, NPTEL keeps them uh, on toes to learn something new because every week our lectures are released, every week assignment is there. So that's how NPTEL works. So you can see from the age uh, bracket, we have uh, our, our learners from the age distribution of 21 to 25 years being the majority uh, to learn through this NPTEL platform. But we do have uh, people of the age of 30 giving some Python course examination. And we do have people of 87, 88 years coming to the coming to the exam center and take up the examination of the course of their interest. So that's how our age distribution of previous semester is there. So not just this, we have uh, people uh, giving the examinations uh, for number of courses. So you can see uh, PKP Aditya Vignesh, uh, he's a scientist in uh, DRD Bhubaneswar has taken up 47 NPTEL courses and given examination for them. So he has stayed with us since we started take, give, uh, taking the exams. So there are number of faculty members, students, employed and the other category people are there who have given multiple courses examination. They are learning through this platform and taking the benefit out of it. So that's the highest number of NPTEL course takers. So now coming to what are the steps involved in the certification? See, you can join any number of courses through the NPTEL. It's completely free of cost. So learning won't cost you anything. 
once you enroll for a course uh, uh, during the enrollment just one thing is to be kept in mind enroll using a single email id that i already told you why it is important if you are going to give npital exams uh, the examination happens in morning and afternoon shift you can see this upcoming exam dates are also available on your screen we have for the jan april 2022 semester we have around 600 plus courses which are up for the enrollment so if you choose from the course that's having exam on march 27 or april 23 and 24 these are the three dates being reserved if on every exam day we have two shifts morning shift from 9 to 12 and the afternoon shift from 2 to 5 so if you have registered two courses from different email ids there are chances your exams might clash if they are of a same day and also your centers might be allocated differently so please have a single email id for learning your npital courses that's the advice i would like to tell you very first then while filling up your enrollment form if your college is a local chapter you fill yes and you carefully choose your college's name this is important so that your spoc can track your progress too or your mentor will be able to track your progress too so these three points are to be kept in mind now coming back to joining a course we call this enrollment enrolling for a course is completely free once you enroll for a course you are uh, given as access to the videos peak wise videos that will be uploaded so we are about to start with the first semester in the uh, in the coming week too so assign week 0's assignment is there on the portal of a, uh, of a particular course uh, week 1 contents of the courses are also getting released so you are able to access the video lectures once the assignments are live they will they will be having some deadline so you can submit the assignment and you can obtain marks after the completion of that deadline this is about the enrollment and learning part now if you want to register to get a certificate uh, so this is this process is called registration process per per course 1000 rupees is to be paid there is some waiver for uh, certain categories um, and also check with your college if they provide some uh, a waiver to the students for doing the individual courses too so our registration will cost you rupees 1000 per course if you want to learn two courses that means 2000 and similarly you need to check with your college if they are having some peak or other uh, initiatives for you then after registration you need to download your hall ticket because we conduct exams in the offline mode you need to go to the exam center and you need to take in proctored exam we have conducted exam in 2020 we have conducted exam in 2021 and we have seen a percentage of uh, 89 to 90% being the attendance percentage in the examination so clearing you this point about this because every protocol is being followed and everything is done so you need to go to the exam center and take in person proctored exam and based upon the npital criteria for passing the examination you will earn an e certificate so mhrd has instructed not to give a hard copy so e certificates are given our certificates are extremely credible they have a qr code at the back that can be scanned and it will take you to to the result section and uh, this this is this is because you're getting a certificate from iits and isc so i'll be telling you how the certificate looks like like i told you we have four weeks eight weeks and 12 weeks courses so engineering management humanities and other disciplines are touched uh, for this now uh, telling you about calculation how uh, uh, the scoring and certification credits work about credits we have discussed for four weeks we have recommendation of one credit for eight weeks uh, recommended credits are two and for 12 weeks recommended credits are three so every week we are having assignment if you take an example of four weeks course we have four assignments so best three are taken into account because we used to get mails that somebody might miss assignment or something happens so we take best three out of four for eight weeks course we take best six out of eight assignments for 12 weeks course we consider best eight out of 12 assignments so you can see in assignments uh eight six and three are taken now why i am telling you about assignments because for getting an npital certification you need to pass individually uh, in assignments as well as in the final exam and also uh, your cumulative score should be greater than or equal to 40% so that's that's the base criteria of passing the npital examination so 25% of what marks you have obtained in the best of your assignments are taken plus 75% of the final exam score that you have obtained is taken 
and they are added to give you a final score on your certificate. So average, that means you need to pass, get 40% at least in your assignments. So that means greater than equal to 10 has to be there out of 25. And your final exam score should be greater than equal to 30. And your final score should be greater than equal to 40. If you fail in either of them or both of them and you have your marks less than 40%. So this why this is important because uh, you, you just cannot take one component into account. You are getting 10, 10, 10, uh, I mean, 100% in, on, on, uh, in your assignments and you uh, fail in your final exam. So you need to pass individually. So if you get less than 40%, no certificate will be given. If you have successfully completed uh, with greater than marks of 40%, so 40 to 59 range is there to get a successful completion certificate. If you have obtained more than 60% marks, so elite certificate is there. If your uh, marks fall between a range of 75 to 89%, elite plus silver certificate is given, silver medal is embossed. And if you have obtained more than equal to 90% marks, elite plus gold certificate is given to you. So golden medal is embossed over there. I'll show you how the certificate model looks like. It will have your photograph. It will have, this is an example of elite plus gold certificate. And it is also, that person is also a topper of 10% of that course. So name, course name, online assignment, uh, what marks have we have been obtained out of what marks. So proctored exams marks and also the total number of candidates who are certified in that course are also mentioned. It will have signature of both NPTEL coordinator as well as chairman of CCE along with the duration and the institute that's offered that course logo is there. And if it has been co-offered along with partnership with some industry associate, their logo will also be there. So backside of this looks like this. Um, it will have a QR code. It will have a certificate distribution there. So this is an example of eight weeks course. Why I'm saying this because it has number of credit recommendation B2. So this QR code will take you to the results section and your certificate is completely e-verifiable. So that's how NPTEL certificate looks like. So how you get into the website, uh, you can see over here, go to swam.gov.in, click on the uh, NPTEL. I'll just show you. Uh, okay, I can, I can go through the slide also. Time is there. Yeah, time is there. I'll just share my screen. And I'll give you a live demonstration of it. All right, you go to swayam.gov.in. Once you get here, okay, once you get here, you scroll it down. There are coordinators, nine coordinators, like I told you. Click on NPTEL, click on view course catalog. All the courses which are up for the enrollment in alphabetical order will be there on your screen. Uh, so you can choose a course, whichever is of your interest. Uh, I'm just scrolling it down. Uh, for example, if, if uh, I want to um, select a particular course, um, okay, if I, if I just select artificial intelligence course, I open this course. So you can see, uh, which, which institute is offering that course? This course is being offered by Professor Deepak Khamani of IIT Madras. So you can see the number of learners already enrolled for a course. And then on this page itself, there's a summary, which tells you this is an upcoming course because this is live for the upcoming semester. It's a 12 week duration course. It will have a start date of 24th January. It, this course will end by 15th of uh, April, 2022. Exam of this course is on 23rd April. And the enrollment will end by 31st January. That means uh, still after starting of this course, there is a time of one week there too. If you want to recommend this course to somebody else, they will be also able to enroll for the course. Now, uh, if you scroll it a little down, there's a category mentioned. It's, it's coming in a discipline of computer science engineering. It also caters to a domain specialization of AI, artificial intelligence, and also data science. The credits recommendation is three. Also, the level is written. and this line, this is an AICTE approved FTP course. That means if you're a faculty member uh, doing this course, you will be able to earn an extra certificate of FTP. So this is still open for every learner. So I'm just going to join the course. I'll click on join button. 
if you have a google email id just register using that but please keep a separate email id for all your npital courses single email id using uh, that you can you need to enroll for any number of courses fill up the details if if you are uh, for example i'll just show you the profession under this profession tab there is a student you need to fill yourself as a student then if you are a faculty member please fill up yourself as faculty and not employed if you are employed other than faculty member fill yourself as employed and others if you don't fall under any of these three categories fill your profession as others your year of graduation you uh, i'm doing this updation because i've already enrolled for the course so i need to update my profile and join the course i'll join this course upon joining the course uh, you it will take you to the course page i'll be first taking you to the page itself home page of this course you can see the prerequisite if there's any you need to have a formal language exposure logic and programming exposure which industries support this course are also mentioned course type and also course layout since it's a 12 weeks course it will have its distribution being written what syllabus is it's going to cover in each week some references if that professor has given along with the certificate uh, the exam date so exam of this course is on 23rd april that's also mentioned over here how to get a certificate like i told you 25% of average of best 8 because it's a 12 weeks course and 75% of a proctored examination out of 100 so that's a final score that will be there so you need to get at least 40% in your assignments and 40% in your final exam for getting a passing certificate at least so uh this is about the course introduction page and then on your uh left hand side you can see how does inpital course work all the videos are mentioned how to get a certificate timelines and guidelines everything about week 0 this is a practice assignment that's released i'm just clicking on week 0 you will be able to see a uh, practice assignment so assignment 0 is a practice assignment that won't be considered for any evaluation so that's there on your screen also a check answer button is there to see whether you have filled your answers correctly or not also if i go up there is a week 1 being released so you'll be able to learn what a professor has given in week 1 and if i go to the introduction video you can see a video is over there and if i go to the first lecture of week 1 you will be able to see a, a, a youtube link is there and uh, some net problems there from myself okay okay yeah uh you can you can uh, scroll lecture wise and you can watch the videos if a download link is there you'll be able to download the videos too if some transcripts are there it will be mentioned in the bottom uh, the transcripts of that course and this is how this this course outlines looks like if i scroll up on the header you can see there is an announcement tab i click on the announcement tab all the announcements related to that course will be published here and also it uh, it will be sent on your e registered email id but we recommend you do come and check this once a week at least and then there is a about the course that i showed you uh, ask a question is a discussion forum tab so if you have any question please post in a discussion forum these forums are handled by the professors and also uh, teaching assistants of those professors so you'll be able to uh, get the queries being answered within a span of 24 hours the progress tab will tell about uh, the assessment scores being uh, obtained by you while doing the assignments there's a mentor tab there's a mentor tab because if your college is a local chapter and if your faculty members are enrolled for that course and he or she acts as a mentor to you you'll be able to select that faculty member as a mentor i'll be telling about this advantage in the coming slide so you can review the assignment so if if it's a pre peer review assignment it will be mentioned over here so this was this is how a typical portal looks like so i'll be coming back i'm going to swam dot gov dot in again so you you can enroll for any number of courses um if i just show you okay i've signed in from my id number of courses that can be enrolled using a same id can be n so just need to keep the id same and you'll be able to learn the course so just need to uh, go to the my uh, uh, course my profile my courses section of your 
SWAM, you'll be able to see all the courses that have been enrolled from your email ID. So that's the second course that I have enrolled in a number of courses. So that's the thing that is to be kept in mind. Try to enroll using the same ID. If your college is a local chapter, please say yes and select your college's name very carefully. And uh, yeah, getting you back to the NPTEL website. The very next thing I wanted to tell you is going to the npital.ac.in. You click on NPTEL stars. You will be able to see the complete detailed information of every star. If I go to the domain scholar page, like I told you, you can see July, December is having 113 candidates of being up, getting this uh, domain specialization. So they have been domain scholars. And uh, uh, about domains certificate, we have studied. So let me get you back to my presentation. Okay. All right, that, that's, that's about uh, the course introduction page that we just discussed. This is about uh, the videos that will start every week. So every week you'll be getting some set of videos uh, as per um, the syllabus prescribed for that week. These videos are recorded in, in the studio setup. So keep this thing in mind. If you are getting overwhelmed with some video, you can pause this, take a break, and then come back and revisit that video. Or if you're having any doubt, just scroll back and watch that video again. So this, this is a difference between learning online and the face-to-face uh, -face teaching. So this will have a, the assignment being released in every week. So assignments of NPDL are time-bound and auto-graded. What that means is they will be having a deadline. The example which is there on your screen is having a deadline of uh, the February 2021. It's a previous year's uh, assignment screenshot that we have inserted. So you can see at 11.59 uh, p.m. this will close and uh, assignments being auto-graded. So whatever you have filled, whether it's a correct or wrong, your marks will be displayed. And these are this is an example of MSQ and MCQ based assignment. So if, if the square box is this, this is a MSQ. And for the radio buttons, the answer is to be given in MCQ. And every question has marks being allocated in front of it. And after the completion of a timeline, you will be able to get the marks of that assignment. Next is a set of programming assignments. So our portal supports programming assignments. So the courses like C, C++, Python, Java, Verilog, uh, require some set of programming assignments. So you'll be able to write a program in our portal. You, you can compile it, you can run it. And after the completion of a deadline of that assignment, your marks will be uh, shown to you along with the correct answer. It also supports subjective assignments. So if, if, your, if your particular course in humanities demands some uh, documents to be uploaded or some essay type answers to be written, so that feature is also supported by the NPTEL portal. Next is a forum that I was talking about. It's a discussion forum. So you click on the ask a question, it will take you to the discussion forum. You can post your questions over there and those will be answered. Okay, this is a gist of what we have discussed just now. Uh, for enrolling, you need to go to the swam.gov.in and if you want to take an NPTEL examination, it's an option. So a fee is there of a pre thousand so that you'll be able to take up the proctored exam and the certificate that you'll be get is e-verifiable. And these are the certificates from IITs and ISC. So we started uh, this examination process since March 2014. So till now, more than 3,496 courses have been completed with 1.58 crores of enrollment and a 15 lakhs plus exam registration. So that's the stats of uh, how NPTEL uh, courses, enrollments, and registrations have been there. So for this session too, the enrollments are up. So if any courses of your interest, please go ahead and uh, see the catalog and select the course as per your choice. The feedback of the NPTEL, you can see on the uh, YouTube handle uh, through the NPTEL stars. There are some feedback videos present over there. There's Then there we have FP handle, Instagram handle too, where we, you can get the updates about what's coming up. So next, giving you a gist of NPTEL online uh, certification summary. Uh, 
we have courses being offered by various disciplines by various departments too so you can see our course ranges from engineering be it aerospace food engineering applied mechanics to uh, law management mathematics uh, 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 metallurgy uh, textile and many others so the larger audiences are being catered through this because uh, the, this this touches touches various domains of management humanity social sciences engineering and all then by the institute wise like you can see uh, the eight pyramid institutions are already there but we do offer courses in collaboration with other iits and uh, iits and also the institutions which are in broad like kth royal institute of technology have uh, has offered seven courses in collaboration with us uh, we do have courses being offered by texas and am university and transborn university and many others in collaboration with the iits the duration of courses uh, that we offer range from 4 8 and 12 12 and 8 weeks being most popular because of the credit transfer is being an important component playing a role in that so uh, 3496 courses uh, have already been there uh, since uh, december till december 2021 that's the start so you can see in this session to uh, 349 courses are 12 weeks courses which are offered 179 courses are 8 weeks courses and 61 are 4 uh, weeks courses so if you are new to online learning you want to uh, make yourself equipped with whether you'll be able to keep the pace of uh, the learning along with your job or if you're learning something new so you can definitely go for a 4 weeks course then the exam percentage like i was telling you we conduct online proctored exam so attendance of the people coming to the uh, examination center and picking up the examination is high so 89% has been there since july december 2021 session who have uh, come who came to our uh, exam centers and have taken up the nbtel examination then the pass percentage is all also good as compared to the others because if you have if you are doing the assignments on your own if you are uh, going through the lecture videos and if you have been learning actively you will be able to get good marks because there are nptel toppers which is which I, mean, i have shown you in my previous walk through there are people uh, getting good marks becoming toppers so why can't you so that's a pass percentage of the nptel examinations uh, as well then this is a gender stats so Uh, it's fifty-seven to forty-three. Hoping in this semester this will get at least equal. So faculty participation too, because this provides them the opportunity to learn new courses. If some new course is being given to them by their institute, that is to be uh, uh, imparted to the students, so they can learn through this NPTEL platform. Also, FTP coming into play. Many faculty members have taken this advantage and have registered for the NPTEL courses. now this brings me to the second uh, segment of my uh, this presentation uh, it's it's swam nptel local chapters both are host institution uh, chh raison institute of engineering and technology and guru tegh bahadur institute of technology both are uh, local chapters of nptel so what is uh, what required to be become a local chapter and what is a local chapter and what are the initiatives taken by the nptel for lcs i'll be discussing uh, about this in uh the coming slide that i'll be having for you so very first what is a local chapter as i told you the mission of and vision of this um, nptel project is to give quality educational affordable educational education to larger masses in order to reach that academic community we required an interface between us so lc is a sort of an interface between nptel and the academic community now the for, for the formation of lc we started this uh, concept in 2015 so for the formation of a local chapter the requirement is we don't need any billboard from college side we don't need any membership fees we don't need any separate building we don't need a minimum number of members what is required is a request letter from the head of institution who wants to uh, form an lc in their college with the details of a contact person that will act as an spoc a single point of contact for us who will be a mediator between the nptel and the uh, that lc so this is the how it is formed after the uh, verification from iit madras site uh, acknowledgement letter is sent back and your college is established as a lc local chapter so one benefit very first benefit is written on your screen nptel content 
so if your college in such a remote area where internet is a problem so not every student is having that internet access but they want to learn the nptel courses you can ask for the copying of data into the hard disk just need to provide the hard disk to the nptel office we'll copy the archive data uh, in your hard disk so that you can run it on the lan that is accessible for viewing and downloading and copying for your students and for your teachers so that's an advantage uh, for the colleges who are not having a good internet access and are uh, located in a remote area so everything is transparent on a website complete process and everything is listed over there you can definitely go and see um, on the nptel.ac.int then the second uh, uh, list of benefits that i'm uh, going to discuss with you is request for the exam city uh, if if uh, we have our exam cities pan india like i told you in a broad tool now but if your exam if your city is not in having an examination center you can definitely request for forming that uh, city as an exam center uh, examinations are conducted by a third partner so if uh, they fulfill they get this criteria getting fulfilled of having 200 plus candidates per exam session like every day we have we have three days of exam so every day we have two sessions so if they fulfill that they can consider the request of forming uh, exam city in your city next is um, the faculty members of your local chapter can act as a mentor for your students um we have live interactive sessions um, with the course instructors who are giving those courses but you being a faculty member of your lc you are a sort of a nearest help students are more comfortable communicating to you the problem they might be uh, facing while studying in that course or they might be having some doubts which they are reluctant to ask so you can act their mentor based upon the performance of your mentees you might earn a mentorship certificate too so your faculty members of a local chapter can uh, become mentor these are the local help so local mentors for your uh, students next is availing a fee waiver so completely depending upon the csr funds available your your college can avail a fee waiver for your students uh, who are coming from economically weaker section this is not a merit based scholarship it's 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 a type of a waiver for for economically weaker section students um, for the lcs which are in tier 2 and tier 3 cities then an important thing is sharing of direct data with the uh, spoc so spoc has an access to complete uh, data of all the learners he or she can see the enrollments exam registration your marks obtained your certificates everything under single um, dashboard that we have for them so we have two dashboards for them so uh, they'll be able to get a complete information of you under that dashboard so that what we feedback we have uh, we have we get from our spoc is that they this this type of thing has helped them during their nhr rankings and their nb accreditations and their nag accreditations and all so that's the next benefit that we have for forming a local chapter next you can see the lcs uh, are not just restricted to a particular state we have our lcs established in uh, jammu kashmir till lakshadweep and andaman island too so we have our presence pan india our lcs are there in uh, different different uh, states so maharashtra tamil nadu uttar pradesh being top 3 because uh, they have larger number of lcs and every state uh, is having a different set of lcs being formed in them so this number has also risen so we have now we have we are family of maybe 4500 lcs so not just in india we have established lcs in abroad too so we have our presence as a local chapters in other countries too apart from india so 42 lcs have been established outside india too now every lc has a page i'll just show you while sharing my screen go to uh, i'll show you how it is reached to go to nptel.ac.in click on swam npt a local chapter this list is there this page is there in the public domain so you click on swam uh, details on swam npt a local chapter it will take you to the complete list both are host institutions are our lc so let me just show you their pages okay yeah so uh, gh raisani academy of engineering and technology has been our lc since uh, november 2015 uh, 2017 so you can see 
the availability of uh, the list of students who have been present, who have obtained gold, elite, silver, successful, being a participant or being a topper or being individual stars are listed in this public domain page. So also for the next host institution, that list is also there. They have just partnered with us in Feb 2021. So in July, December semester, one candidate is there uh, who has, this is because this is starting. So we hope to get more uh, people getting on board with this NPTEL initiative and uh, from this institution too. So that's how uh, this uh, page looks like that is available in the public domain. So I'll be getting back to my slide. Yeah, that's the page for every LC. Now the participation, the final examination, because you have an SPOC with you who's, who, whom we send reminders and everything, every uh, initiative details and all. So uh, a, med, a, a sort of a supervision is there. So the participation in the final examination from the local chapters are definitely higher as compared to the colleges, which are not LCs. So you can see the stats on the screen, how the faculty member can help students choose the right course. <clears throat> you, can, you can guide your students regarding the number of courses that they can choose through this platform or the choice of courses, whether core course or elective course can be selected as per your institution policy, as per how much you allow as a credit transfer. So you can definitely uh, choose the courses, uh, keeping this difficulty level of the students uh, in mind, because if the course is having some prerequisites of mathematics that is to be done before doing that course, and a student is rather in an early semester stage of that, you need to uh, guide them that this, this subject requires some prerequisite or they keeping in mind the depth or breadth of that uh, subject skill set that is to be required in their mind. Next is the mentoring of a student. You can become a mentor for your student uh, to learn this course. What is the requirement to become a mentor? Number one, that the faculty member of your LC needs to enroll for that course. Um, then after enrolling, ask your SPOC to select you as a mentor from their SPOC dashboard. For uh, becoming a mentor, you need to keep this thing in mind. Fill your profession as a faculty so that he, your SPOC will be able to see your name in the faculty list. Then ask your SPOC to select you as a mentor. Uh, this can be done from their dashboard itself. So after being, you being selected as a mentor, you can ask your students to go to their login and make you as a mentor. The similar tab that I just showed you during enrolling a course, the mentor tab is there in every student's login. If your college is a local chapter and you have a faculty member acting as a mentor, you can select that faculty member as a mentor. Now, after becoming a mentor, you will be able to track the progress of your students, which we call mentees. Now, based upon their performance, you'll be able to get a mentorship certificate too. You can alert or remind your students about due dates. You can take their periodic doubt clearing session. You can give them some more practice assignments. And uh, these are just the suggestions that we are uh, giving from our side. So a, a single faculty member can act as a mentor for two courses only and with a capping of uh, 50 students under each mentor because we don't want to overload them because they'd be already having uh, subjects to teach during their course of semester. Next, uh, about the certificate of mentor, like you can see, mentor can get the certificate if they fulfill the criteria of getting at least 10 mentorship points in a course and at least one mentee has to obtain a certificate. So this criteria, all the ratings formula are present on the website that, that can be seen. And uh, in the bracket, you can see the number of mentees who obtained the marks. So if your mentees have got marks between a range of 40 to 59, uh, that is taken into account plus five times your mentees have gotten the marks between 60 to 74 plus eight times your mentees have got marks between 75 to 89 plus 20 times the number of mentees who have got marks greater than 90 plus number of mentees present for the examination, the capping of 10. So this formula is utilized to calculate your mentorship points. The tips for the uh, new faculty members, if you are new to some course, uh, you can definitely go ahead and roll uh, through the NPTEL. But if you are new to this certification, try to, uh, just a suggestion, try to uh, register for the course that you are comfortable in giving examination, even if you are not getting time to learn through the videos, you might be having some knowledge of uh, clearing the examination at least. So look for the courses which are coming under faculty domain and some relevant subject domain that you want to learn and learn along with your students. 
Next, the other recognition that we uh, give for our SPOC is every semester uh, after every course run, we release a list of uh, local chapter ratings. So these are the ratings based upon the performance of the students of your LC. So based upon that, every college is given uh, as a, a triple A, double A, single A or active LC rating. Now, next soft skill training. Soft skill training, again, is for local after candidates and also for the stars, individual stars and individual toppers. Next, participation as exam observers. So SPOCs have played a huge role since the pandemic hit. They were there uh, for us when uh, we were going for conducting examination. So the invigilation is there from SPOCs as well as from IIT's institute representative side. And also the translation efforts have been done. Every Thursday, we meet them through Google Meet to take up their queries. So if you're having some questions, you can ask your SPOCs and SPOCs can ask us about whatever questions uh, are there on your mind. So our feedback is taken. So you can see the passing, uh, the local chapter participation uh, in the last Jan, December 2021 uh, from the top 10 states. Also, there's a mention of active LC rating. So very basic rating to make your local chapter active is at least 12 uh, candidates needs to be present. So ex 12 exam takers needs to be there from your local chapter in which at least 13 of them getting certified. So if this criteria is fulfilled, then your chap your LC will be active LC. Now, uh, we release top 100 list of can uh, local chapters. So if... if uh, uh, your college is coming in top 10 of them. They are rated as AAA. Next 40 are rated as AA and next 50 are rated as uh, single A colleges. So this is a list of uh, top 10 local chapters of Jan, December 2021 semester uh, coming from various states like Tamil Nadu, Uttar Pradesh, Delhi to uh, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Haryana, Telangana. So this, this is a list of top 10 uh, LCs. What type of recognition is given? This is what the formula used is uh, right up on your screen. This is also available on our website too. So every document, every formula or every rating that I'm talking about is documented uh, in the form of a document that, that, that you can utilize for your future learnings or you can discuss in your meetings about it too. So this is how the certificate of appreciation looks like. If your college is a AAA rated college, uh, your college will also get a certificate uh, along with your SPOC getting a certificate. A special recognition categories have also been added, uh, like best new local chapter. So we know new LCs are uh, new LCs definitely find it hard to compete uh, uh, with the already existing one. But if they have outperformed many of the new LCs, they are given top best new LCs in inside top hundred and outside top hundred category. Outside top hundred definitely means you need to be active LC. So best faculty member participation. So if you're a faculty member and participating in this, uh, you know, you'll be able to earn three certificates, one, a normal course completion certificate. I mean, if you are uh, passing the examination with numbers as per your uh, passing criteria, you will be get that certificate. Then as an FTP, if you have enrolled for AICTE approved FTP certificate, and then as a mentor, if, you, if your mentees have performed really well, and you fulfill that criteria of getting a mentorship certificate, you will be given a mentorship certificate. And based upon your performance, your LCs will be able to uh, get a certificate under this criteria of best faculty participation. Next is LCs based upon improvement. If your ratings have improved or if your certificate counts have significantly improved, so this is a type of recognition given as LC based upon improvement. Then the fourth category of arts and science and commerce category. So the LCs, Coming under this, uh, also get inside and outside top 100 uh, category certificates of becoming best arts and science and commerce college. So after this, since because we are giving uh, ratings since last four years, and if you have been consistent and your college has stayed relevant in at least seven of the rating table, you will be given a category of LC star. So this is type of recognition given to our uh, LC star. So you can get a certificate that the list is up. Uh, of the LCs who have already gotten this uh, recognition of being in the local chapter stars. Uh, next, I'm telling about the dashboards that we have. We have two dashboards. One is through SWAM, one is, is through NPTEL. So all SPOCs know about it. And if you're having any query, uh, every week on Thursday, we meet, we give a walkthrough so that if you're having any doubt, that can be clarified. So this is an example of uh, the SWAM dashboard where you can enter and see the 
database of your students getting enrolled, registered, and every detail. Next is a form of a support that we provide to our SPUCs for attending conferences. We do uh, want them to grow professionally too. So if you're an SPUC and you are presenting a paper uh, in a conference, these are the conferences uh, conducted in India by IITs, NITs, IIITs, CSIR labs, or ISERs, or other T4E conferences. Uh, you, you, uh, you can definitely fill up this form. This form is released in first 10 days of every month. You need to fill up the relevant details, upload the documents that are being asked, and upon the approval from the body, uh, you will be given uh, the reimbursement in your registration fees and travel if any. So this is a, a small um, uh, support that we provide to our SPOCs for attending conferences because definitely they are our pillars on which we stand. So that was, I think, all about that I had to discuss uh, regarding this uh, online awareness session. So, uh, uh, Stefano, do we have a multimeter questions with us? Yes, ma'am. Can I share? Yeah. yeah, sure, sure, sure. My colleague will be sharing multimeter questions. Meanwhile, I'll, I'll take up a few questions from YouTube as well. Okay. A roll number is given with your hall ticket. I'm getting some questions over there like that. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, rest of you can please go to menti.com. Use the code that's available on top of your screen. We would like to know, does your college or university extend credit transfer to the students for NPTEL course? Is it yes, no, or you don't know about it? Okay. Okay, yeah, you can definitely learn uh, in multidisciplinary manner. That's how books work. It's it, if you are fulfilling the prerequisite uh, and you know the subject that you are going to study is not having a prerequisite uh, that you don't know. So you can go ahead with that subject. If that subject requires some prerequisite, so try to learn that prerequisite first so that it will be uh, smooth for you to learn throughout that uh, number of weeks of learning. Okay, for credit transfer, you, uh, you need to contact your college authorities how the credit transfer is being practiced in your institution. So they'll be able to guide you, but the recommendations are mentioned um, on the back side of every certificate that is given by the NPTEL. And your certificates are e-verifiable uh, so that you can, you can uh, anybody from your college or uh, from your employer side can definitely verify that. So a wording line for this is closed. Uh, many people don't know, okay. If you don't know about the credit transfer, please contact your college authorities. Uh, they'll be able to instruct you about it. So next question. Okay, how many of you enjoy hands-on workshop, hands-on working or working on labs on experiments? One being the least instructed and five means the most instructed, uh, interested. Okay. This is our last uh, Mentimeter question for the day. And we shall wrap up this uh, workshop after that. How many of you enjoy hands-on working uh, in labs on experiments? Yeah, we can we can have our uh, countdown, uh, Stefana. Yeah. Okay, uh, thank you so much for participating in this voting. We can see uh, out of people who have voted more than 80% have said they are interested in uh, doing this. We can, I can see the answers in the chat box as well. Uh, 
Thanks, Stefana, for sharing your screen from Intimeter. Thanks to all the participants for participating in the survey questions uh, through Mentimeter. And now I shall be giving this back to Dr. Uh, yes. Ashish for this. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you, Ms. Vishaliti, for an enlightening and entertaining presentation on the right way to work with NPTEL. We appreciate having this precious clarification by you. Your presentation is especially useful. We really appreciate that. We have a small token of appreciation for you, uh, Vishali Ji. Our director, madam, will be presenting a small token of appreciation. Director. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Just a moment. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, good afternoon, ma'am. It was good really enlightening, you know, very knowledge knowledgeable you, presentation. We're really impressed by what NPTEL is doing. And with dynamic workers like you over there, really, I really I wish you all success, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. This, madam, you can move it the other way. Other. Way. Yeah. Yes. 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 Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, we'll be mailing it to you, ma'am. Thank, ma thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, madam. And now this vote of thanks will be given by the spark from. Raisoni Institute. Yeah. Dr. Manish, good, evening, good afternoon. Dr. Uh, Munshi Yadav. Dr. Munshi Yadav is from our institute. Uh, okay. Uh, Mr. Pratik Dhange, sir, are you connected with us? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, sir, please go ahead. Uh, it has been such an honor to be a part of this wonderful event. So, on the behalf of GH Raisoni Institute of Engineering and Technology, Nagpur, and Guru Tej Bahadur Institution of Technology, New Delhi. Uh, I would like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to our esteemed ge uh, guest speaker, uh, Ms. Vaishali Bahal, uh, IIT Kanpur, for exploring NPTEL journey to the participants. Uh, Ms. Vaishali, ma'am, explained about the NPTEL, its certifications, exam patterns, domain certification, NPTEL star, and uh, many more. So thank you for everything, ma'am. And uh, now I extend my heartfelt gratitude to NPDL team, Stefina ma'am, and the IIT Madras, and all those who are directly, indirectly connected with this initiative. Uh, now I am very much thankful to Dr. Vivek Kapoor, sir, Director, GH Raisuni Institute of Engineering and Technology, Nagpur, and Director, Dr. Uh, Rominder Kaur, uh, uh, of Guru Tej Bahadur Institution of Technology, New Delhi, uh, for jo uh, jointly organizing this workshop with the team NPDL. And uh, sincere, Thanks to all the heads of various departments of the NPTEL team and both the institutions who handled the event uh, throughout. Uh, and I'm very much thankful to Bharti ma'am, Kamla ma'am, uh, then uh, Divya ma'am uh, from, uh, I think uh, last three to four years, we have uh, connected with them uh, through the this NPTEL forum. We have uh, visited to IIT Kanpur, uh, even uh, IIT, uh, Bombay for the physical workshops and now we are meeting on this online platform. So uh, online learning provides a standardized training platform that impacts cons uh, consistency. Not only uh, does e-learning offer flexibility for our students and faculty to suit their schedules, but it helps everyone to save uh, their time. So uh, we are very much uh, thankful to the team NPTEL, uh, especially to Vaishali ma'am uh, and all. And uh, sorry, a wide round of applause and thanks to all the participants who made the event memorable one. Finally, I would like to thank you all you present here for making the time to be with us today and uh, helping us to this event for the grand su uh, success. So thank you one and all. And, and one more thing uh, that GH Raisuni Institute uh, is providing the credit transfer to the students. So we are having uh, near about 5,000 students at our institute and uh, we are autonomous. So that's why we have given the credit transfer to the student from uh, this year and uh, even the open elective to the students. So open electives are compulsory to the students to, from the NPTELs. And even uh, the credit transfers also uh, we are giving from this uh, uh, coming semester. So we have made the policies for the students. So that's why the students are asking the questions about the credit transfer. So thank you one and all.
ियल <laughs> offering to uh, the audience um thanks to uh, npetel iit madras team uh, thanks to kamla ma'am bharti ma'am thanks to studio team for this uh, live streaming of this workshop and uh, i think uh, if you if you're having any question that is to be asked to me you can please go ahead and ask your question if there is any or uh, otherwise we shall wrap this session for today yeah thank you all for on the food yes we shall thank you. wind up the meet thank you okay yeah thank you thank you step now studio team we shall end the live studio team we shall end the live thank you sir Stephana, has the live stream again? Do inform them. Okay. Stephanie, can I leave?